Hi guys, we're on holiday. It's windy out there. In fact, it's raining a little bit now. So I was going to try flying this Lagoon brand stunt kite. Uh, I did a video on assembling it. It's one that comes in a small pack and the fiberglass rods are all stuck together with little metal ferrules, I think you call them, little metal tubes. Um, I have had some reasonable flights with this, but quite often something goes wrong. Usually the wind drops. This time, when we came to try it out, we realised that that bit is actually broken. Um, I have lost one of the end pieces on one of these ends. I can't remember which end it is. In a previous flight and replaced it with a bit of um, barbecue skewer because it's the same sort of size. Can't see it because it's tucked up inside. Um, but this time it's one of the fiberglass rods has actually broken. I was hoping, being as we're on holiday, that I could have used these Pangland rotating tubelet tubelets <laughs> tulips um, because they're fiberglass rods, but they're actually about a millimeter thicker, so not a direct replacement. I could probably use two of them. I think they'd actually be the right length if we had a suitable metal ferrule to go in the middle to join them together, but I don't. So this is not going to be a repair video. This is just a, oh dear, we're not gonna fly this one today. It does fly quite nicely when I have flown it, but if you've seen the previous videos, most time ones when I've taken out to fly it the wind drops so we get a couple of seconds of flight and then it's on the ground because there's no wind anyway plan is it will live again but we can't actually use these because they're just a bit too thick when i bought them i had it in mind they'd be useful as fiberglass rods for other things rather than uh, rotating tulips Wind catches them and they spin, that's the idea. And I did put mirrors on some of the leaves, but those mirrors are a little bit heavy, so it unbalances it terribly. Oh, there's the other mirror, yeah. So that's it. It's not going to happen today. That's the one that I replaced with a bit of um, bamboo cane. I wonder if that means, are any of them long enough? No, nope, none of those are long enough. They're all odd lengths. That's annoying. I might have been able to replace these with new rods and then replace the missing one with one of them, but they're not the right length. Or are they? Mm, close. Close, but not close enough. Well, I've had a little rethink. If I take that piece off of there, that is longer than I need. So I could trim it down to the right length and I can actually get one of these flower rods into there. So I can replace that with a thicker flower rod. It will go into the rubber sockets okay. And we can replace the broken one with one of the other ones. Well, with that one, but we need to trim it. So I'll have to find, see what tools I've got that we can use to trim fiberglass rods without getting bits of glass fiber everywhere. 
Right, this will be a little bit difficult to demonstrate, so I'll tell you what I'm doing. I haven't got the tripod with me at the moment. So this is one of the flower stakes, or whatever we want to call them. The fiberglass rods from the flowers. I found that we've got this spade in the cupboard. In this, We're in a holiday let at the moment. And it's got quite a good edge on it. So I'm actually working my way around it to use that to cut the end of the rod, glass fibre rod. And I'm doing it straight into the bin, so any dust and that goes straight in the bin. Well, that's done quite a good job. All right, because this is bigger than the holes, I've applied a little bit of grease to either end to help slide it in. Done. I expect that will cause it to split eventually, but we should be able to get another flight out of it anyway. Right, so this is the one that we've just taken from the top end there, and we'll cut it to match the one that isn't broken. The one that is broken, quite interesting, it was only a tiny little bit, it was actually in there. I'm surprised about that. But that's that's all that was in the tube. Anyway, yeah, we'll cut this one to fit now. Exactly the same process. Use the spade. I've got Nanny to hold the camera for me for a few seconds just so you can see what I'm doing. Just rubbing round, I just went out of, out of line there. Yeah, just rubbing round, slowly working my way through the fiberglass rod. Done. Well, there we are, fixed. So that's the bit from the flower, Pangland rotating tulip or spinning tulip. That bit there is still a bamboo cane. And that bit there is the bit that was up there, cut to length. And of course the wind's dropped now, so we can't go out and test fly it. Thanks for watching. You'll always find more information down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. You might like to subscribe just here. Over here is my latest video on my channel. And down below is a playlist related to what you've just been watching. Thanks again for watching.